All right, back to my whiteboard. I've got three different fractions. Um, they've all got different denominators. The numbers on the bottom are different. So how should we solve this, okay? Um, we can solve this a bunch of different ways, um, but if I look at the denominators, we have a two and a three and a four, all right? I know that 12 is a multiple of all three of these numbers. So I'm gonna change all these numbers to 12s here, okay? Teacher Ramsey? Yes, good, good. Uh, when, when my mom went to get the homework packet, they say there was no homework packet at school. They said there's no homework packets? Yes. Really? When did you come here? Uh, I don't know. Hmm? I don't know when did my mom go better. Okay. I will check that out. Um, because I don't know what is going on. There's definitely homework packs for grade four. Okay, all right. In the meantime, let's work on solving this. All right. Um, Kim Sai, I want to change one half into yeah. 12s here, okay? Yep. All right, so two times what is 12, Kim Sai? Times six. All right, so let's do the same thing to this top number. What number goes here? Six. Six. All right, one half is equal to six twelfths. Uh, let's see, Hannah. Let's change one third into twelfths. Three times what is twelve? Three times four. Okay, so what number goes on top here? Nine. We want to do one times four. We're just multiplying both four. numbers by the same thing, okay? All right. Um, and my good friend David. Let's do two fourths into twelve. So once again, we are just multiplying the bottom numbers and the top numbers by the same thing here, okay? All right, so Six. David, uh, four times what is 12? Three. Three, okay, so we're gonna do the top number by three as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six. Six. All right. And if you notice, one half and two fourths are equal. They both equal six twelfths, all right? And that makes sense to me. So I think we're on the right track here. All right. Let's try and add these up. Uh, Yuri, can you add these up for us? Mm, equals to 16 twelfths. 16 twelfths. Okay. Um, is that a mixed number? Nope. No. No. Do you think you can change it? Yes. It is one and four twelfths. One and four twelfths. Okay. Um, however, one and four twelfths is not in its simplest form. Can we make this fraction? Can we reduce that, please? Equals to one to one, to one and one third. All right, you kids are getting good at this. I'm happy. 
Teacher, I have an, another way to do it easier. Yes, there are many ways to do this. Um, are you just adding one half and two fourths? Oh no, what happened to Holland? I'm pretty sure she's going to say that one, if we know that one half and two fourths are equal to one whole. If I have a whole pizza, here I have two fourths, this is one fourth. This is another fourth. Where we this get one, one half. All right, that equals a whole pizza, and then we just have this third extra over here. Is that what you were going to say, Helen? All right, let's move on. I am going to go to your new. Hello, All right, and we are going to talk about decimals. Hopefully you have your new homework pack. If you do not, please make sure you pick it up at the school. Um, kid, kid, I will make sure to check on why the guard did not give you a homework packet because there are definitely enough homework packs there. I will check on that after class. Teacher, what, what, what the pack? Is the math pack? Yes. Okay. All right, and our new homework packs, they're in six sections, okay? All the math packets, there's two math packets. Those are both pink. The one that says P stands for people's book. Same thing with the English. There's two, they're both green. The P stands for pupils book. And then there's two worksheet packets. And there's one labeled W that has a bunch of writing in it. All right, let's move on. So um, we are talking about decimals here. Decimals. Uh, we deal with decimals a lot, and we do this a lot at the grocery store. That's why we have a picture of a grocery store here, okay? This lady says, this drink is on offer. I shall buy it, okay? Here we have decimals here. Here we have decimals here. Which bag of rice is the heaviest, all right? We've got uh, decimals here, decimals here. We deal with decimals a lot when we're talking about money, and we also deal with decimals uh, when we're talking about weight, when we're talking about which is the heaviest, how much does something weigh? Kim John, do you have a question? No. Okay, why do you keep raising your hand? All right. So today we're going to talk about understanding tenths. And what I want you to know, uh, if you can see here, it just says decimals are fractions in another form. And let's take a look at what I mean by that. Yes, Domi, do you have a question? What are decimals? What are decimals? Decimals are fractions in another form. And if you turn the page, we will know exactly what decimals are. Yes, David. Um, what is tenths? What are tenths? Well, let's turn the page and find that out. All right. Um, so once again, mama problem one, we want to know what decimals are. We want to know what, okay, they've got a picture of all that wonderful stuff right here. 
Um, so let's take a look. Um, David, can you read this sentence for us? Ben divides a stripe of paper into 10 equal parts. Okay, so Ben divides a strip of paper into 10 equal parts, all right? If you look right here, David, this is the fraction one tenth. Okay, so if you don't know what a tenth is, it looks exactly like that. That is one tenth. Here's my fraction for five tenths, seven tenths, nine tenths, and ten mm. tenths, which equals one. Okay. All right. Um, so um, we can write numbers as fractions, like one tenth. And we can also write them as decimals down here, Domi. If you don't know what a decimal is, it looks like this. And if you've ever tried to divide some crazy numbers on a calculator, you might come up with something that looks like this. And notice that we have a little dot in between all these zeros and fives and sixes. This is called a decimal point. Um, when you're dealing with decimals, you will always have a decimal point. All right, so um, just realize that, all right, here's Ben. He's got his strip of paper, and he's divided it into 10 equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? We have one-tenth right here. One-tenth is equal to 0 0.1 in decimals. These are both the same number. We can just write them different ways. And that's all we're doing here. And we are always going to be using tenths, OK? We're no longer using twelfths or eighths or thirds or quarters or anything like that. We're going to stick to tenths. Why? Because our whole number system is based on the number 10, OK? Um, so, James, I played, played 0 0.1, it's the ten, that means it's 0 0.10, and that's it's 0 Sorry, 0.01. That again. I didn't 0 point one. 0 point 0.1 is 0 0.10. It's only 0 point no, only no, 0 1. 0 point 0 0.1 is not 0 0.10. 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. No, 0 0.01. No, no, that's a different number, Domi. I'm talking about tenths. This number right here, four tenths is equal to 0 0.4. Okay, you're talking about something different. Here, let's look at this sentence. Domi, can you read this sentence for us? We wrote one tenth as one over tenths. Or 0 0.1. All right. And we read that like this. Okay. 0 0.1. So this number, if you see a decimal point here, we just call this 0 0.1. All right. Not 0 0.01 or 0 0.10. All right. Yes, Hannah. Uh, teacher, so it's, uh, it's uh, the decimal like 20 and 20. 20 and 20, uh, we put it equal to. Um, say that one more time. I can't really hear. Um, like we put the numbers in section 20 and 20, it will equal to. Mm, I still can't really hear you, but we are just working in tenths, okay? We're not going to work in any sort of 20ths or 8ths or 12ths. We're just working in 10ths, OK? Because the whole number system is based on our number 10, our good friend 10. So uh, let's look at this one. This is 6 tenths, which is also equal to 0 0.6. Oh, I got more questions. Yes, Kim John. Sir? Yes. Uh, uh, why we don't work with six or seven or eight or nine? Right, because our number system is based on the number 10. So we are just dividing everything into 10 parts to make it easy for your brain. Uh, 
All right, let's move on from problem one here. Let's just look. Teacher, can I go to the toilet? Sure, go for it. All right. Let's look here. Now I've got, uh, here's our friend zero. We all know what that looks like. And here's our friend one over here. So in between these two, we have 10 tenths, okay? We have zero, one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, all right? That's when we're dealing with fractions. If we write these in decimals, we have zero, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then we will get to our friend one over here on the number line. So here we have four tenths shaded. Four tenths is equal to 0 0.4, all right? And it says right down here, we write four tenths as four over 10 or 0 0.4. And we read this as 0 0.4. Anytime you see a decimal point like this here, we can just read that as point, okay? 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 are decimals. And once again, we are just sticking with our friend 10. We are dividing everything into 10 parts and that makes it nice and easy. All right, so next, here's why we are only using the number 10 here. It says you can exchange or change one one for 10 tenths, okay? Here we have one whole, and here we have 10 tenths, okay? 10 tenths is equal to one. All right, and in that same way, if we write these as decimals, we have 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. All of these, 10 of them will add up to one whole, okay? So one one equals 10 tenths. All right, so now we have um, express 13 tenths as a decimal, okay? If I know that 10 tenths equals one, that means I have one whole and then I have three extras. So I have one whole and three tenths extra. This is one and three tenths. And we can also write that as one point three. Next, I'm gonna take a look at problem number four. All right, it says express two and five tenths as a decimal, okay? So once again, I have two holes. This is two whole pizzas. Now our pizzas are just squares here. So I've got two ones, and then I've got an extra five tenths. One, two, three, four, five. All right, and so here we have two and five tenths. This is equal to 2.5, okay? Once again, if 10 tenths equals a whole and we have 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and I've got five of these things, zero, zero, zero. All right, if we add these up, these are going to equal 0 0.5, okay? So that is equal to this here, all right? I have 2.5 total, and once again, we read this as 2. Point five. All right, next, 
I'm on page 54, I think, or maybe this is page 55, actually. It says represent 2.8 uh, with decimal points here, okay? So 2.8 is equal to two ones, and then I've got this 0.8 right here, okay? 0.8 is equal to eight tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, we have two ones and eight tenths. This stands for two ones and that stands for eight tenths. All right, let's look at what this girl says. She says two ones, eight tenths equals 2.8. 2 2.8 has one decimal place here and we can see that we have one point past the decimal now. And if we keep moving down the page, let's once again take a look at 2.8. 2.8 is equal to 2 plus 0 0.8. The value of the digit 2 is 2 or two ones, yes? The digit 2 is in the ones place. The value of the digit 8 is 0 0.8, all right? It is in the tenths place. So once again, this two is in the ones column. We should all know where that's at. 0 0.8, this is in the tenths column. That is something new. This number is less than one and more than zero, just like your fractions, okay? All right, then if we keep moving down to our number line here, we have tenths can be represented on a number line. And let's check that out. Here's all our numbers in the ones place. We should be familiar with these, yes? Zero, one, two, three, four, five. We can all count by ones. All right, however, uh, we have divided each into 10 parts here. Between zero and one, there are 10 parts. This is 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. This number is 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And as soon as I hit 10 tenths, this number is equal to 1, OK? After that, I have 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.4, 1.5. All right, over here I have two. And we seem to be running out of time. This number is 2.3. I'm going to move on and see what we can figure out here. All right, I'm on page 56 at the bottom or maybe like middle of the page here. It says, what decimals do the following shaded parts represent? Um, let's see. Tycoon, are you here? Tycoon. No. All right. Li Meng, are you here? Yes. All right, that is a definitive yes. All right, so we want to know what decimals these represent. Um, we have 10 parts here. How many are shaded in, Li Meng? Uh, seven. Seven, okay. So if I was to write this as a fraction, this would be seven tenths. Um, it will be. And a de uh, decimal will be 0 0.7. All right. Have you done this before? Mm, yeah, I can uh, uh, learn at home. OK. All right. So as a fraction, we can write this as 7 tenths. However, as a decimal, this is more than 0 and less than 1. This is 0 0.7. All right. Let's try part B here. This is more than one because I have a whole pizza here. All right. Um, let's see. Hannah, can you tell me what part B is? Uh, 
Yes. Yes, I can. All right, go for it. We have one hole. Um, and then I've got nine. And ten. nine. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I'll put answers. Yeah, what is this as a decimal? Uh, one eight, one um, point nine. All right, one point nine. All right, kids. And once again, we are always going to be looking at 10 parts here, okay? We're not using any other fractions besides 10. All right, let's keep going. Number two, express the following as a decimal. Okay, here I have two whole pizzas and then I've got an extra three tenths here. Uh, Holland, can you read two and three tenths as a decimal, please? Two, two and three point. Two point three. Two point three sounds good. All right. Once again, we say this two point three. Anytime you see this decimal point here, you just say point two point three. Yep. Okay. Next, how about um, Nika? Yes. All right, do you think we can do letter A here for us? We have 14 tenths. So I know that 10 tenths equals one. So we have 14 tenths here. This is going to be more than one, okay? This is going to be one and an extra four tenths. So how much is this in a decimal form? One and four tenths? Yeah. This is going to be one point and then we've got an extra four tenths here. One point four. Yes, okay, one point four. So 14 tenths is equal to one and four tenths, which is also equal to 1.4 should be our answer in decimals. Let's try. Um, we thought, are you here? Teacher, um, see what page are we? David, the page number is right here. It says page 57. Yes, yes Kim John. Can I do B? I'm working on B right now, man. Hold on. You're going to have to wait for other people to answer. We saw, are you here? We saw it. All right, moving on. Stray cat. All right, moving on. Molika. Yes, a child. All right, somebody's here. All right, we have 18 tenths, okay? Once again, I know that 10 tenths equals one over here. So we have one and eight tenths is what in decimals? 1.8. Perfect, 1.8. All right. Uh, let's see, who have I not heard from here? Jupiter, are you here? Yes. Great. 
Can you try C for us, please? 0 0.5. Perfect. We have five tenths. That is less than one. It's going to be 0 0.5. And is this raw? Yes, it's me. All right. Make sure you put your name in there. Roth, you yes. want to try letter D? Yes, of course. All right. Um, we got two holes. Take two and then. Um, multiply the 10 and plus six. All right, we're not multiplying anything. All right. How do we say this number, Roth? 2.6. Perfect. OK, yeah. Remember, anytime you see a decimal point, this is just called 2.6 or 1.8 or 0 0.5. All right, let's keep going, kids. We only have like two more minutes. All right, next it says, what decimals do the letters represent on the number line here? OK, so once again, We've got 10 parts here. We're just working in tenths. Um, so, 10 parts. We are in tenths. Um, we saw, are you here? No. How about Kid Kid? You want to try letter A? Yes. Yes, we saw. Oh, Visal, you are here? You want to try letter A, please? Yes. One half. A half. Right, it, it appears that we're at five tenths here. So this five should be ten. Five ten. zero point zero one five. Five. All right. Mina Hill, can you try? Letter B, please. Now we're at one and one tenth here. B is equal to one, one, one. One, one. One, one. One, one. one point one. Please remember to say point when we have this decimal point here. All right, last one. How about, um, Hannah, can you try C, please? 